I hope you all have met my new son. Hey, okay? very quiet, fella. <laughs> Welcome back to the Baby Show. Time to talk baby first aid. Andrew Johnson is here uh, from First Aid Ottawa. How are you, Andrew? I'm doing very well this morning. Uh, good. We've got some great information for people, especially first time parents, moms, dads, babysitters, grandparents for the first time. It all applies. Absolutely. We've got a couple of demonstrations we're going to show you today, and we've got. Um, these babies to demonstrate with. Absolutely. Right? You brought Absolutely. along these babies. Absolutely. So we're going to talk about what first? Choking? We're, we're going to talk about choking. Okay, because this can be a common occurrence, correct? Absolutely. And in fact, it's probably the, the most common thing that's going to scare new parents because they'll be feeding the baby and all of a sudden the baby will will start to cough and it's like, what do I do? What do I do? And I'm, Let the baby cough. Absolutely. If that baby can cough, if it's making sounds, you let them cough. It's the, the best thing we can do. The scary part is when they're not making any noise. Absolutely. That's when we have to step in if they're not making any sounds whatsoever. Right. And for a baby not to make sounds and then being awake, we know there's a problem. I hope my boy gets some hair at some point. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, Andrew. <laughs> all right, so baby's choking. Absolutely. So if they stop making sounds, all right, first thing we want to do is what I say is we make a baby sandwich because we want to support the baby. The right. baby's going to be panicky. So we're turning them around face around, first? Face first, and we're support along the front of the baby. Okay. We're supporting the head so it doesn't flop. Okay, and you're leaning them forward And we're going to lean them forward. All the way down. Away from any tables or anything True. so we don't hit their heads. True. Heel of our hand is going to go between... The shoulder blades. So try to get them down a little bit more of an angle, Kurt. Okay. More down, there we get gravity. Five back blows between the shoulder blades. Don't be shy. What kind of shot. blows are we talking about? We're, make it hard. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we want to get it out. Now we're going to squeeze the baby a little bit. Right. Turn the baby over, keeping support. Right. We're going to take two, our two fingers, put it right down between the nipples. Okay. And we're going to push down five times. One, two, and we're three, pushing. four, five. We're pushing. Don't be afraid to, to do that. No, we're talking about four centimeters for a baby. Turn it over. All right, we're back at it again. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Turn the baby over. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're going to keep and doing this. And again, you're, you, you, either way, you're pointing down. Exactly. Okay. Gravity. We try to get gravity going. And we're, we're going to keep, keep doing, doing this, this yeah. until that baby starts to cough, starts to cry. If if the baby stops making sounds, the coughing's fine, but if you if you don't hear any sounds and you know your child is choking or what have you, call 911 Absolutely. before you do anything. There we go. Get that help coming. How how do people remain calm is the question. This is the hardest part of it all, Andrew. Exactly. I mean, it's natural for everybody to panic, and I will say the first step in any emergency situation is panic. The problem is most, pe most people don't know what to do afterwards. So by learning these skills, taking a first aid course, you know the step after panic, you know what to do after it's that. It's invaluable, these first aid courses. Absolutely. And not just for when it comes to babies, because you know what to do in other situations as well. Exactly. We talk grandparents. If your grand, if you're, if you're grandparents, if, they, if someone has a heart attack, you know what to do by taking these courses. I don't think I'd allow anyone to look after my child, and I'm talking about relatives too, unless they knew what to do in case of these situations. Absolutely, and it doesn't take long to learn these no, skills at no. all. Where do you find out more about classes? If you want to check on our website at www.firstaidottawa.com right. or our phone number 613-225-2727. Uh, it is so worth doing. It takes very little of your time to learn how to do something so important. You're going to be back later? I will be back what later. What are you going to talk about next We're time? going to talk about how to do CPR on a baby. My baby's just fine, by the way. Just fine. It's good to know. Thanks, Andrew. No problem. All right, uh, 10 minutes before uh, 8 o'clock, the baby show continues. Uh, we've got maternity fashions. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful ladies and beautiful clothing. Next.